God, why did I buy this? Don't hit me in my knees. Don't do it. He's sick of me saying I thrifted it. I thrifted it. Hello. Will she throw anything out? You may never see the light of day again. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you would have seen from the title of this video, I am going to be clearing out, reorganizing my wardrobe, which is something that I've been meaning to do for so, so long. So I thought to make myself do it, I'm gonna make it into a vlog. And I love seeing these types of videos. I love like watching people organize spaces. It's very satisfying. And just knowing how people organize their wardrobes. So I wanted to start by showing you a starting point. It's gonna be a bit of a journey. There's a lot that needs to be done. And full disclosure, this probably won't be filmed all now. This is probably gonna be filmed over a series of days. So if I change appearance, that is why, do not be alarmed. Because this is quite a mammoth task <laughs> that we're taking on. So let me just start by explaining to you the wardrobe situation. So this is in mine and Chris's bedroom. We have a triple wardrobe in here. It's all just like long hanging space. And Chris has one, the end one, and that's everything that he owns. <laughs> I have the other two, and then I also have a big chest of drawers in our spare bedroom. So Moose is very much gonna be around as well for this video, so keep an eye out for him. This first mirrored bit is Chris's wardrobe, so we don't need to go in there. This is my first section of wardrobe. This side's like pretty empty. Um, everything kind of crammed in the other side, to be honest. And basically when, I, when we moved into this apartment, we had everything on hangers still, and we just, chucked everything in well i did anyway chris obviously organized his because he's very good at that i just threw everything in and thought okay i'm going to organize it like into a system at a later date so i really need to um do that because we've been living here for a month and i haven't so i want to basically reorganize these wardrobes into like jackets dresses shirts jumper like you know what i mean and the main issue is not moose's bum this situation now i would like to disclose <laughs> i would like to disclose that i did not put them in there like that originally i was going to have all three of these wardrobes and put chris in the spare room but he did not like that idea and so we quickly just kind of chucked everything that was across the whole bottom of this triple wardrobe into like these two sections and when i say chucked i meant i mean like we lobbed them in with the guise of okay i'll get some sort of storage solution to organize all of this um as I said, it has been a month and I have not done that yet. And it is, I've just been living with this chaos, which is very on brand for me, but no more. So all of my shoes are just kind of chucked in the bottom. It started as like boots in this section, little heels on the other side, but now it's just absolute chaos. Let me show you the other side. As you can see, this side is way more crammed. There's a lot of stuff in there. And this is where all my like long things are as well. So my long coats, you can see my pajamas. My long coats are here, my long dresses are here. Um, and this is the current situation, which just is not anything. This is a realistic view of what we're dealing with. It's not good. Um, so I'm thinking when I do come to organize all these clothes, I will put all of my long things like in one section. And then the other section is where my shoe rack is gonna go that I have just purchased. I'm sure there's lots of stuff in here that I can get rid of as well. So this is, yeah, where we're starting. Let me show you in the other room quickly. This is what I ordered. So it's basically a um, like stackable, shoe rack so i think it has like six tiers on it and it also extends so i can make it fit that space at the bottom under like my jackets and coats and stuff and i'm hoping six tiers will be enough for all of my shoes but i don't know we'll have to see i might have to get something else as well but that's in there that needs to be built that just arrived today and then over here are my drawers so i have like my underwear gym stuff um socks and pajamas and then i have tops jumpers and then some more bottoms like little skirts and things but this is where we're at excuse all the clutter up here as well this also needs to be organized um there's just so much crammed in here and again probably stuff that i don't use and don't wear and these drawers are like bursting at the seams it's really hard to fit everything in and yeah there's just no no sense of organization anymore. Um, like my gym drawer, I feel like there's loads of stuff in here that I probably just don't wear and can get rid of. So I want to just do a huge clear out and reorganize these drawers so they're not doing that basically. This is clean washing that needs to go away. Oh, we also have like coats, like coat coats in this wardrobe. So I could probably put a few more things in there to clear up some space in the other one. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. That's the starting point. So by the end of this video, it's going to be dramatically different all the things i get rid of i want to do a pile that's like things that i could sell things that 
um, could go to charity shops and then things that are just like need to go unsalvageable or can be turned into like cleaning rags or whatever so that's going to be my system and then it's just going to be a case of reorganizing and trying to figure out a system that works for me and is less chaotic so thank you so much for clicking on this video and hanging out with me and um let's get started we're officially in phase one of the wardrobe clear out today's task is the one that i'm the most looking forward to which is assembling the shoe rack and organizing my shoes hello Thanks for joining me. So that's what we're gonna start with. Shoe rack first. I'm just figuring out if I want it in the middle section or this end section. I mean, it doesn't really make any difference. I might go for the middle section just because I've got more long things already in that end section and it's easier to move these ones across. So I'm just gonna move like the long dresses from this middle section over to the end. So there's only short things here. And then we can start building. You excited to be involved? You are gonna be in the way at all points? Yes. Let's get cracking. because I wanted to be able to obviously fit as much in as possible but it's like I'm gonna to need to get the even the short addresses to the other side I think so let's do that and then this side will just be like jackets and tops now we stack so I think I'm gonna be better with like heels and flats on here because these aren't like very tall so obviously like boots and stuff it ain't gonna happen but like these little heels stunning it works so that's what i'm gonna do i think at the top here i might stack things that i don't wear as much or like more seasonal so like summery flip-flop sandals that i'm not gonna wear for a while or are they just gonna fall off we'll see if i don't use a top one that's five because i could just chuck these underneath oh i like that flat sandals down the bottom yeah lovely okay let's get cracking but if you don't And I'm gonna start on the actual pieces in my wardrobe. The shoes are looking great. I'm so happy with the shoe rack. Let me just take you off here real quick so I can show you. So this is where I got to the other day. There's some I wore this morning that I need to put back into that gap, but it's got all my like flat sandals down the bottom and then all my heels, trainers, and a couple of like my shorter boots. And then on this side are the longer boots so i am very very happy with this system it's obviously on this side has to be all the shorter things so i'm thinking this will be like tops jackets jumpers um we'll see how we go maybe then some like jeans and stuff and trousers and then the other side will be like dresses long coats all that kind of stuff so i've got my little helper here getting right in the way of where I'm about to be standing. Let's get cracking. I feel like to be most thorough, I do wanna kind of try on some things as I go to see like, if I do still like them, if I'm still gonna wear them. But I also like can't be bothered to do that. So I don't know how this is gonna last. I also really don't wanna take this jumper off because it's freezing. Yeah, this is cool. Ignore the jumper underneath. I haven't worn this in a while, but this is a cool jacket and I have like worn it a lot in the past. Like I've worn it to fashion week and stuff and I feel like Leather's never gonna go out of fashion, you know? It's cool to have like a lighter, cool girl jacket. So we're keeping her. This is so cute, but I feel like I replaced it when I bought this big fluffy red cardigan. It's like similar, but not as cute. So I'm gonna take her out for now. This is kind of fun. I haven't worn this in a while, but for a good one for work. It reminds me of like Legally Blonde, maybe even a bit like Clueless kind of vibes. 
I feel like this is fun. It's always good to have a pop of colour. Truly, I don't really wear this little leather skirt anymore, but is it just like a good staple to have? What other black skirts do I have? Not really many. It also is, it's thrifted obviously, but it's from Topshop Tall. So it's like a bit too long for me. It's like a bit of an awkward length because I'm not tall. I really want like a pinchy hanger, but I don't have one. I'll keep this for now just because I don't really have many short black skirts and I feel like it's gonna come in handy. But I'm gonna put it on this side and this is gonna be my like bottom side, like skirts, trousers side, and this is gonna be my jacket side. This obsessed, love it, wear it all the time. It is so soft. It deserves to be on a good quality hanger. This doesn't really need to be hung up. It could be in a drawer. Um, and I actually might put it in my, I have a box under the bed of like my summer stuff. So I might put this in that because it's obviously like see-through, but it's a really cute little tie summer top cardigan kind of thing. And I'll probably take it on holiday with me. So I'm going to put this in the box. In summer. Obsessed, love, 100% coming on holiday with me. Nothing more to be said. Now here we have a conundrum. We don't need both. But this is like a suede thicker, almost like a shakti type thing, which is really cool. I bought this from an op shop. Obviously I kind of forgot that I own this. This is linen. So this is more of a summer throw on over the top of an outfit kind of shirt. I am gonna keep this in my summer box because I would wear this just like over a bikini or, you know, as a layer. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile because I haven't reached for it since I bought it. This needs a wash apparently, but I love this. A little roughly pinstripe shirt. I've worn this quite a lot. That's staying in the top section. We also need to pick a direction because everything's facing different ways and it's stressing me out. This jumper is cute. I have another cream knit. Let me go get it. I have this cream knit, which I prefer, but it's like so chunky, which is great, but not great for like layering under jackets. Or is this one? This one's a slightly darker cream. The neckline of this stresses me out because it's so high, but I can layer it under things. Is it silly to keep both or is it reasonable to keep both? I want to say reasonable. Here we have multiple things on one hanger. This I am keeping because I bought this for my upcoming holiday. Again, get her in the summer box. And this midi skirt, which I absolutely love. Very cool khaki midi skirt, wear that loads. This is a gray, almost like a suit pant midi skirt. Actually, it's kind of a maxi skirt, it's pretty long, as you can see. That's a great office staple, very comfortable. Easy to style. That's a keep. This is definitely a keep. I love this jacket. I got this from Hunter Markets years ago. It was from Chantelle Otten when she did a drop at Hunter Markets. And it's so fun. It's like black, brown, and then really bright green. So it's a really fun pop of color, but like very easy to style. So I love this jacket a lot. She's staying. Black cropped denim jacket, also Hunter Markets. Also a keep, another great staple. Maybe I put my more staple jackets down the end. This jacket I don't wear enough, but I do really like it. This is the one that reminded me of um, Elphaba from Wicked. She wears a blazer very similar to this, but I think it's just really cute and cool and like preppy. I love the piping. I like the blue. I'm gonna keep this. Um, the buttons are really cute as well. I need to wear this. Maybe I'll wear this to the office this week. We'll see. This top is super cute. It is falling apart, but that's fine. I bought it from Fitzroy Markets like a sleeveless knit of a dead Mickey Mouse. It has no brand on it. I don't know where it came from originally, but I just think it's cool and I love red. So that's staying, that's going in my little jumper section. This skirt, I don't know if it's that flattering on me and I really don't reach for it very often, to be honest. It's very creased right now. It's like a sage green, like a knee length denim skirt. I don't love it. I think maybe it's a chuck. It's really nice and soft though. This is a really, really cute set that I thrifted. Again, doesn't have a brand on it. I think it's like, a dupe of something else, but it's like a little silky, um, like wide leg pant and shirt set. Again, this is gonna be one for the holiday. Um, it's just really, it's basically like wearing pajamas, but I mean, maybe they are pajamas, I don't know, but I bought them as a set to wear and I just think on holiday, that's gonna be great. I can't bother to go back to that box. So staying in here, another denim jacket that I thrifted. Also love this, staying in the basic jacket section. Oh, this is a cute little dress. I don't know why she's being hung like that. I need to actually get rid of these straps because they are, they're like all stretched out and elastic. And like, even when I first bought it, I didn't really understand how the straps were supposed to work because they're really, really long. So I just wear this as like a boob tube mini black dress and it just fits so nicely and so snug. And it's just like polka dot. I love the fully straight top of it. It's just a beautiful fit. 
So this is definitely a keep. This top is really cute. Would this be a cute holiday top? I think it would. The only issue is this is like super see-through. And with this whole tie situation, I can't really wear a bra. And I've tried this with like nipple stickers and you can still see the stickers. I just don't really know how to handle that. Unless I wore it like over a bikini top, like a, bra like a brown bikini top or a bralette that was like meant to be seen. I'm gonna keep this for now because I feel like on holiday this could be really, really cute. It's like super flowy, lightweight. It's got this beautiful like bronzy kind of beading on it. I'm a keep, I'm a keep, but she's on thin ice. This is really random, but I love this jumpsuit. Again, this is a Hunter Markets find. It's a bit of an awkward one to wear because it's knitted, but it's also shorts, and it, but it's long sleeve. So it's a very specific climate that this can be worn in. Just for like summer, hanging around the house, running errands. It's just very comfortable, throw on. Again, feels like you're wearing pajamas, but it looks quite put together. So I really like this. Again, I'm gonna put it down in the like dress end because it's an all in one. I've worn this a few times, but it's just not really a great fit. It's like very oversized, which is kind of cool, but I think I'm just honestly a bit over it. I don't really reach for it. I don't really wear it. This dress I'm obsessed with. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, like an occasion for it. Um, I do still need to DIY this because I wanted to remove some of these frills. It's like a lot of frillage on the front, but purple little mini dress and it has these tiny halter straps and this detail down the front is just really fun and like very flattering. It's very like Austin Powers. <laughs> like if you can envision it without all the frills and like the too much going on, um, I think it's gonna be cool. I just don't know when I'm gonna wear this yet, but I'm, I'm keeping it for that occasion. This is a definite keep. I wear this all the time, like maybe a little bit too much. But I was looking out for a little gray skirt. It's actually a skirt, which is amazing. Couldn't find one anywhere. And I mentioned it to my sister and she got me this. These are Christmas and I love them. And I wear them all the time. Them, it, short skirt. You know what I mean? Obsessed, you're not going anywhere. And then I have this little multi hook situation. And there's only three things on here right now, but I'm gonna add more to this. Oh, there's only one. Okay, I'll just put this on. But this is a great selection of items I have some pinstripe men's gray trousers that I thrifted ages ago. This really fun yellow, like textured maxi skirt. It's like a fitted maxi skirt that I got from, I think it was from ThreadUp, which is like an online pre-loved reseller. And then my leather pants that are a little bit too big for me, but we make it work. We kind of just, I wear it in like a low rise kind of way. And then I'm gonna add this gray maxi skirt from before onto the hanger. So there's loads of room in here for me to move things across, which is great. It's gonna get a little bit more complicated. Maybe I move you in a bit. Starting from the very left. This looks very confusing, but it looks cute on. It's a brown knitted maxi dress. So this is like a long skirt. There's this little wooden thing in the middle and then this all ties around and around. Hard to envision but I promise you it's cute. It's just kind of hard to hang up. I've just been hanging it like this. Wore it on holiday a couple of years ago. I think the left will be dresses and then the right will be coats and then we'll see how we go. So that's a keep. This is also really cute, but I'm not reaching for this enough, but it's beautiful. So it's it's because it's a bit of an awkward length. It's a top, but it's like a long top and it's asymmetrical. It is really cute and it's got a high front and the back is like a really low scoop back again on holiday this would be amazing my hair up in my heels with my hair straight and it's just all beaded and the beads have like almost a greeny bluey like aqua tinge to them and i think it's just stunning so you know what you're staying love this thrifted i think you pronounce it a spray these guys <laughs> um yeah like a little vintage roll neck jumper i love the purple love the black stripes cute here we have Whoa, there's a lot going on here. One thing I might get rid of are these flares. I love the idea of them, but they don't fit great. I think they're a bit big. They're a 10, so they shouldn't be, but they just don't fit right. And I don't know, because they're really cute and really like 70s. Oh, we'll have to put them on, aren't we? I just don't love them. So I think I'm gonna get rid, because we're trying to be thorough here. Goodbye. I have to be brutal. And then I have these black pants, which are great. I think Sarah thrifted these for me. The brand is Q. They're a little bit low rise and they're like a nice wide flare, just like a smart black pant, a very good staple. Keeping them. And then I have a really cute denim midi skirt that has like distressing 
detail on it. Also a bit oversized and like low rise, which is cute. I wear that skirt a lot. And then I've just got two pairs of jeans. A wash pair that sits a bit low and casual and a smarter dark pair. Both necessities. I wonder if I can fit those in here. Oh yeah, it works. This dress is really cute. Again, from Hunter Markets, got it years ago. Originally from Lioness. And it's just a cute little silky V-neck floral member. A great easy breezy summer piece, keeping that one. Now this one is a conundrum because I have two jackets that are very similar, but also kind of different. This one's a bit lighter and it's like actual leather. It's like suede. And then this is obviously darker and it's a bit more of a chill polyester. So this one's like cheaper, but I feel like I reach for this more. Let me try this one on again, just to be sure what we're dealing with. I think it's like too oversized and too boxy. Whereas, because that's a softer material, it like flops better, if that makes sense. This is like oversized and also really stiff. But it is cute. I think I'll get rid of this one. Because if I'm honest, every time I go to wear this, I'm like, oh, I'd rather just wear that one. And we're being honest here. Keeping this in the jacket section. Now these jeans, these are Wrangler jeans. Like they're really, really comfortable. And I love the flare. But something about them just isn't flattering. I think because they're not that sturdy like because they're so comfortable they don't like hold me in right you know what i mean let me try i don't know if i'm just being silly but every time i've worn them i've been like Ugh. i don't know they do fit well wrangler's good because they do like in between sizes not just like 8 10 12 you know what i mean so they do fit kind of better and the flare is cute they're very like cowgirl vibe I don't know, I'll keep them because I don't have many jeans and they are really comfortable and fit well. I just don't think they're the most flattering thing on me in the world, but we'll see, we'll see how we go. Okay, there's a lot going on on one hanger here. This is just a plain black blazer, cheap buy from Hunter Markets. And I just feel like everyone needs a black blazer, you know what I mean? I also have this cream blazer. It's like a bit more fitted, I think, from memory. I haven't worn it for a while. It's cute, but like, I'm not obsessed with it. Like, when am I actually gonna wear this? Is it boring? It's boring, I think. It's gonna go. But this is staying, one of my favorite purchases. This is a Topshop and Kate Moss collab, which was like in the early 2000s. I got this from Savers and it fits me like a glove. It's just the cutest little fairy dress. Again, I'll probably take this on holiday. And the top is like fully boned and corseted. So it fits really nice, holds you in, don't need a bra. And then the bottom is just like the most beautiful layered frilly wispy fairy vibes and the color combo is like khaki and peachy pink which is just really fun unique i love this dress and nothing and no one can tell me otherwise love this skirt I wear this to death in summer spring really flowy white midi skirt and it's got like an elastic waist so you can kind of wear it a bit higher or more mid-rise very versatile this will also be coming on holiday with me how am i gonna fit all this stuff in my suitcase this is cute. I still wear this quite a lot. Again, like a very nice throw over shirt. You can kind of dress this up a bit more, I find, and make it a bit more formal or chuck it on again over your bikini in summer as like a little protective layer. This is just a denim midi skirt. I don't know if I'm over the like standard denim midi skirt, but I'm going to keep this one for now because I feel like when we come into spring, that's a really good office it's kind of fairly smart, you know what I mean? It's a good office piece, I'm gonna keep that. Some more dresses all layered up. Give me some more hangers. This dress is, uh, I got it from Hunter Markets. It's originally a lioness dress. It's very pale blue and white pattern that almost looks like clouds when you can't see it, but it has these really pretty like floaty sleeves. It's ruched on the bottom, so it's really flattering. And then it has this nice cutout. I don't know if I will really wear this again, but I got engaged in this dress, so I can't throw it out because <laughs> now it holds memory. But I got it from Hunter Markets, I wore it on holiday in Rome, and then Chris proposed. So I'm going to keep it because it holds a special place in my heart, even if I don't wear it again. This one I'm also definitely going to keep. Ooh, it's inside out. I actually found this in the like Halloween section that had been curated in Savers, <laughs> um, but I wore it for Fashion Week. And it's really cool. It's just a lace midi dress, like a long sleeve lace midi dress. And it has these like 
almost pinky purple accents on it. But it's really cute. I've also worn it again with like a blazer over the top as a skirt. Just a very fun fashion forward little piece. Oh, there's a lot going on here. I love to stack, don't I? So the first is this little black slip dress that I thrifted. It's kind of see-through, but I think that's kind of cute. It's, I don't know, probably meant to be underwear, but I think it's just really pretty as a easy breezy slip dress with a big blazer over the top and some boots or in summer with some little dainty heels. Um, again, a great holiday piece, very lightweight, easy to wear. It gives me Carrie Bradshaw vibes this, which obviously is all we can ever hope for. This I've had for years, again, Hunter Markets. It's originally cotton on and it's just, it's just a very floaty light midi dress, a nice V-neck and some cute little colors. So that's definitely a keep. Underneath is a dress that I got from Savers. This I got from Savers a couple of years ago and I think it was when the like, what was it? Like Coconut Girl <laughs> whole trend was happening and I liked that it had these flowers on it it was giving me like tropical coconut girl vibes but now i look at it it feels a bit like mumsy i don't know and i think it's that awkward length on me where it hits me like around the knees and it's just not very flattering on the old calves so i think maybe that's a ditch this is a cute little silver maxi skirt always reminds me of like chain mail i haven't worn this much yet but i think it's really fun and i'm gonna keep it because i know i will have a moment i think like this was just like a plain black top and black boots is a very simple outfit but very cool you know silver's a very cool girl metal so we're gonna make it work and then this cardigan i also got from primark when i was back home my sister also bought it and i think my mum bought it in a different color we were just obsessed it's like a really fluffy cute knit and again i wear this all the time this is a great purchase a great winter staple so that's staying Ooh, gosh it's like a workout moving these back and forth so much so this is another kind of creamy blazer i have i bought this years ago from i think it's like a glasses outlet it is just so oversized <sighs> keep going oh, it's bad why did i buy this like it, this is not cool oversized this is like you're wearing your dad's blazer as a child oversized i can't keep that anymore because i just do not wear it it looks ridiculous two more little skirts love these this is a pleated check skirt 100% someone's old school skirt that i thrifted but it's very cute and then a black Kind of swingy low rise basic midi skirt um both great little staples i wear them both quite a lot this one is a little tight because it is made for a child but we make it work we just don't breathe or eat a big lunch in that one this coat oh she's itchy it is cute and i think this will be a good one in spring because it's like it's barely a coat it's so thin it's just a little layer so i think this will be great at like if I want to look a bit put together and chic, but I don't want like a coat. Cause it's very cute, like houndstooth pattern. I love the black detailing and buttons. It feels very, for some reason this reminds me of Cruella de Vil, but it's cute. I'm going to keep this as a good little jacket. And then I have this tiny little summer dress. It's very lightweight linen mini dress. It's got a high front and then like a scoop back, which is cute. Again, this is only really going to be worn on holiday, so. I'll put her in the summer box. These are a couple of very formal dresses that I have worn for various events. This I wore to a wedding. It's like a brown strapless maxi dress and it's got this tie ruching detail, like a slit. Um, this is originally from Supre's event edit. And I cannot tell you how impressed I was with this quality. This was really cheap. I think it was like $30 or something I got it for in a sale. And um, it's insane. And I've since looked and I don't think they do their event edit anymore, which is such a shame. <laughs> Cause this would be great for like really affordable occasion wear. Anyway, I have this and I love it. So I'm going to keep it. And then I also have this dress, which is a black, again, like midi maxi dress, very silky. It has this really cute detailing where the front is like high and has these sheer panels and then a really, really low back. Galvan London, Galvan London. I don't know how you say that. And I got this from an op shop for like $10 and I was like, this feels amazing. Like the quality feels great. Love this. And I Googled it and it's worth like over a thousand dollars. Great find. Love this. Obviously I'm going to keep, this is a great staple. This dress I got when I did a collab with eBay, which is flex. Um, and it's like a vintage Manning Cartel dress. Like it's a stunning color. It fits me like a glove and it's just so like early 2000s. Something about it I'm obsessed with, but I have not, again, had a chance to wear this to an event. So I'm keeping it. It does need a bit of a wash, but 
and keeping it for its moment because oh the way it just holds you in and the fun like frills i just know for like a birthday or something this is going to be a big moment for me so watch out for that <laughs> another two in one this dress i bought from second life markets when they came to melbourne this was like ten dollars and i think it's so cute it's like the most flowy floaty little floral dress the straps are like different so one is like off the shoulder and one is on when you wear it and it's just like a very effortless beautiful dress i'm definitely taking this on holiday as i said about every other piece in this wardrobe but i just know that's gonna look beautiful and then secondly this is more of a basic maxi dress i think this is from cotton on originally yeah um and it's like very euro summer like italian inspired it has like capri amalfi coast all these cute little prints on it and it's just like a really nice lightweight linen maxi dress i know i'll get a lot of wear out of this dress is so cute i thrifted this actually not too long ago i've worn it a couple of times but it's a little bit too big i don't know why i think because i like it has a tie in the back so when i tied it i was like oh this is kind of cute but then i realized that the elastic underneath like sags when i tie it tie it to fit me i think it's like i think i saw us 10 and thought 10 but it's actually a uk 14. so it is a little bit too big for me but it's very very cute but i think i might have to toss which is so sad this dress i have had for years and years and years i don't even know like five six years i don't know i thrifted it from somewhere um but it's really cute and so comfortable this is a great little summer dress i love the bows like on the shoulder this is super stretchy like sheared top just stunning we'll not get rid of her this is what we call my swamp dress <laughs> it's a stunning maxi dress and has like sheer the arms and everything are completely sheer this is all lined it's really nice and ruched which is again super flattering on i just think it's really cool i got this from hunter markets for like ten dollars it's originally from zara and it just fits really nice and is really cool and i haven't worn this in a long time but I should, because I love my swamp dress. Okay, I think we have some more chucks. This I bought for, as an option for my friend's hens that was like disco themes. It was like sequin. It's a beautiful dress. I did end up wearing it for Christmas this year, um, but it is so short. I had to like pin the skirt together. Oh, you can see the pin still there, like down here. Otherwise I would just be flashing. Um, and it is kind of quite like uncomfortable. So it was great for Christmas Day, but I don't think I'll wear it again. And I think someone else will love this and thrive in this dress because it is beautiful. So that's gone. This I bought, I think when I was back home years ago, and it was just like a black basic like jersey midi dress. I wore it to the office quite a lot for a while, but I, it's just kind of boring. I don't reach for it anymore. It's not serving me. Oh, this dress needs, something needs to be done with this dress. I got this from Savers. It's so cute. Garfunkel Australia is the brand. Um, and it is just such a pretty little fairy flowy dress. It's a v-neck with this little bow in the middle and it has like a halter and then the back is really low and ties together with these straps. And it's so stunning. And I just haven't found an occasion to wear it to yet. It reminds me of, um, who's the oldest daughter? <laughs> Sorry, I know. The oldest Von Trapp daughter, Liesel. Liesel would love this. It's gorgeous. I need to keep it. I have no idea when I'm going to wear it. Maybe on this holiday for which I have 8,000 outfits. This is my scarf. <laughs> Hangy. Surely there's a few on here I can get rid of. There's a couple of big chunky ones that I wear a lot in winter. I love this little black, delicate, dainty one. I feel like that's stunning. I'll probably take it on my holiday. I don't know. These are all cute. I think I do wear them all. Maybe this one actually I can get rid of. There's like a little butterfly scarf that I've only worn like once or twice. And it's quite hard to style. So I think I'll probably get rid of that. I might get rid of this as well because it kind of reminds me of a dad scarf. But I think everyone else can stay. This coat, I do love, but I have a brown coat now that I think I love more. And again, this is a weird length. I don't like in between lengths. Either, hit, either be short or you hit me in the middle of my calf or the ground. Don't hit me in my knees. Don't do it because you will get chucked. And it's a shame because this is a really nice coat, but I just don't like the length of it. I also love this dress. This is a really random story, but I saw this on someone in like a club and I was like, you are the hottest woman I've ever seen and you look incredible. 
and um, I scoured the internet to find it because I didn't get a chance to ask her, excuse me, where's your dress from? And then I found it and it was from Zara. And it took me ages to get it and I got it. And it's kind of stunning to be fair. It's just like a leather midi dress. It doesn't look like much off, but it's very fluttering on promise. I haven't worn this in ages, but this is like, again, something that's very, like a black midi dress. You know what I mean? That's never gonna not work. This dress I thrifted really recently. This is gonna be a like, you love it or you hate it situation. But I think it's really cool. It's a nice like loose swingy midi dress, long sleeve, again, like sheer sleeves, kind of like my swamp dress, but a bit different. I love the pattern of this. It's so random and like wacky colors. I love this random little floral thing. It's a V-neck, but you can like pin it together if you want it to be a bit higher. I don't know, it's just cool. Something just drew me to it. And I think when you thrift things that you're just like drawn to, you've got to just roll with it. Again, bought this years ago from Hunter Markets. A, I was actually wearing this when I saw the girl in the leather dress. <laughs> um, I love the color of this, like bright blue, a sweepy kind of shirt dress. It's cute, I'm gonna keep. I think I'll definitely wear that again. This is really cute. I thrifted, um, I don't know where I thrifted this from, but it's like, you can see it's like red and pink stripe and it's like kind of a netted crocheted knit, I suppose. I just love the colors in this. And it's nice for, again, like spring where you want something on, but <laughs> you don't need too much warmth, you know? I thrifted this when I first came to Australia. It's Jolie and Dean, which is a really nice brand. I think it's a little bit small for me, to be honest. I think it's always been a tiny bit small for me, but I made it work. But I just haven't worn this in ages. And again, I think someone will get a lot more joy out of that than I have. This is cute, like lace top, like tie up top over a really cute bralette. Just with like with some jeans or something. It's easy to jazz up an outfit with that. And that's cute. Similar vibe. I've only worn this one once, but I think this is really pretty. Again, it's like sheer, but has these like like satin red floral like stitched on top of the sheer fabric hard to explain but hopefully you can get the vibe and then these all tie up at the front which is cool there's a big red tie at the back again a bit sex in the city going out top you always need a good selection of going out tops as a girl this coat is the light of my life i love it a red deep red trench coat and the brand is virgo and i'm a virgo so this was meant to be at the thrift love that there's no question to keep oh i've got about these my white like flared jeans these are really cute they're quite fitted i do want a light pair of jeans that are a bit more baggy because these are like fitted and flared but um they're really cute i'm definitely gonna keep those another couple of great jackets this i thrifted recently from hunter markets and i love it with every fiber of my being this was from maxine wild nothing else needs to be said look at this color combo this jacket are you sick of me saying i thrifted it I thrifted it and it's like a really cool like Hailey Bieber oversized black bomber it's real leather from the men's section I think it was like $50 or something which is insane for like a vintage leather coat a couple of great tops this is just a pink shirt I've worn this quite a lot this is a great little um office staple I just like staple I like wearing shirts I don't know why and then this is also really cute it's like a waistcoat button up situation also thrifted. I think I want to take a break there, maybe for the day, maybe just for a while because I'm starving. I need to go eat. I feel like my voice is going because I'm just yapping. So another good chunk done. Well done to both of us. Making great progress. Let me show you what we've got down here. This is everything that we've got rid of and that's like a, that's a thick pile of great stuff. So I'm going to keep going with this. Proud of us. It is a couple of days later and we're back to finish off the last chunk. My hair is in desperate need of a wash, so just ignore everything that's going on here. Yeah, there's only this tiny bit left of this wardrobe. I have managed to keep things really tidy on the other side over the last couple of days, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is for me. So I'm going to get this last little bit done, and then we might start on the drawers in the other room. We'll see how we're feeling. So this little green cardi I thrifted ages ago, and I actually love it. It's really, um, it's a fun little pop of colour for winter, and like in between seasons and I like that it has this double zip so you can like zip it up and then also unzip here if you want like a bit of a cropped vibe without it actually being cropped very cute that's a definite keep next we have this shirt again I feel like is a classic wardrobe staple like a blue pinstripe shirt and um, it's kind of oversized which is nice 
quite good for again like summer just chucked on as a layer over something um but i also wear it a lot like in the office for work it's like nice and smart but super comfy this was i think i thrifted this from hunter markets but it's originally glassons a classic i love a striped shirt i love a pinstripe actually we got these for like ten dollars incredible and these chris actually picked out for me when we did my like fiance thrifts for me video which i will link somewhere up here that was really interesting the things he put me in this was like the one thing that i was like oh these are actually kind of cute they're like slightly cropped slightly low rise black corduroy you can't really see pants and they just fit really nice and they're just quite cool so we'll keep those oh this jacket i thrifted this years ago but it's just so cute and like preppy and again a very fun pop of color i love green it's just this little fitted blazer and it has these kind of cropped sleeves um that are like open i don't know what this style is called but this is just like very spring it adds a little bit more like class and what's the word i'm looking for like slightly more formality to the outfit but it's still really chill i love the big like lapels as well very cute here we have a double hanger so we're gonna have to fix this this jacket is probably one of the best thrift finds of my life it is the most beautiful fitted like 90s style leather jacket and i wear it all the time obsessed i got this from mercedes um again in a video if i can find the link i will also link it a lot of videos for you to go and watch after this and then this set is so cute so i actually thrifted this top a while ago um and again i thought it was like very 90s kind of a bit like carrie bradshaw sort of cute top vibe it has this like netting over the top and these colorful flowers and then sarah sat found for me like a week later in the same up shop a little midi skirt that matches well it's not midi it's like knee length skirt and it's a little bit oversized so it kind of fits on like a bit low rise and then this top is like a little bit long just the cutest little set i've worn this out a couple of times and it's just like such an easy throw together outfit because obviously it's a set um but it looks so cute and then you can also obviously wear the pieces separate so god we're making moves oh this dress this I thrifted from Savers and I actually wore this for our engagement party. It looks not as much off. I'll try and insert a photo here of me wearing it so you can see the vibe. But it's basically like a puff kind of skirt and obviously those like little puffy skirts are very in at the moment. And then the top half of it is like a black velvet and it's a bit of a sweetheart neckline. It's like ruched at the centre. And then it has this really fun like tucked and pinned kind of style to the skirt which felt very bridal to me and it's almost like a satiny kind of fabric down here it's like a very very bridal bottom half more modern top half but overall like very on trend and very fun and i yeah i thrifted it and i love this dress and i'm just waiting for another occasion where it's appropriate to wear this because i think it's the cutest dress ever look at me just reminiscing getting emotional over my clothes but i feel like clothes do hold a lot of like not meaning but memories this jacket i need to wear more i haven't really reached for it much but i think it's really cool i think i just need to like figure out how to style this so it's just like a black blazer but the collar is fur or faux fur like a tiger print faux fur i feel like it just adds a bit of pizzazz and something a bit fun to like an otherwise very basic boring piece i don't know i was just drawn to it i got this from savers as well and I just think it's cool, but yeah, I need to figure out a way to style it. I think I need to style it with like other things that are quite simple so that this kind of pops. Maybe just like jeans and a kind of basic top. I think it's cute. I'm going to keep it because I feel like it has potential and I still really love it. And I would still be drawn to it like now if I was shopping. So these pants are oh, obsessed. Brown, very long, like have to wear with heels, straight leg, kind of low rise, smart pants. The brand is Jigsaw, so they're like really nice quality. Got these from a random op shop great fit love them wear them all the time great for the office but also great for like going out for drinks going out for dinner vibes you know on a night like this oh this shirt is really cute i got this with my sister when she was over here and we were in cremorne in melbourne where there's a lot of brand outlets and we were in the vick and woods outlet and normally i would never buy from vick and woods because they're very very expensive but this was like mega mega discounted and i just thought it was so beautiful the quality is obviously amazing it's a shirt with like ruched sides so it like cinches you in at the waist but then this bit is like very flowy and open and there's like hook and eye closings all the way at the front 
but the bottom bit's open and it's just very like sophisticated fits really great and i just love the like lilac -y color with a tan in summer and then i also have these pants which i wear all the time they are just a great fitting gray suit pant high-waisted again straight leg just fit really well like a nice light gray my memory serves me correctly but i think sarah thrifted these for me and i wear them all the time so that was a lovely lovely gift sarah and i have actually just locked in our next like bundle thrift exchange video that we're going to do um in about a month's time so keep an eye out for that i'll also link somewhere or maybe down below um our other bundle thrift exchanges because they are so much fun i love watching them back because the joy we experience in those videos are like no other like you'll never see us happier than when we're doing our bundle thrift exchanges we get so like giddy and happy and it's just really fun to watch back so yeah we've got another one of those coming up so keep an eye out <sighs> come on now I get compliments on this jacket every time I wear it. It's so cool. I got this from Hunter Markets. Again, it was so cheap. I think it was like $10 or something. And I like saw it at the other end of the market and I made a beeline and I was like, that's gonna be mine. And it was such a reasonable price. Again, a very 90s style leather jacket. I love this kind of style. It's got the like, you know what I mean, very 90s. And it's in this really fun purple color. Nothing else needs to be said. One of the best finds of my life as I've said 80,000 times in this video. Finally, something I can keep in this section. This I thrifted on my most recent trip to Hunter Markets. Again, this was like $15 or something. I'll pop the thrift haul in <laughs> as me and says thrifting. Um, it's a really long, thick, warm gray coat. And this coat has saved my life this winter. I've already worn it so much. It's originally from H&M. Nothing else needs to be said. It's just really chic, like trench coat style with a tie. And it's a oh, great staple. Oh my god, this I wear all the time. I thrifted this from Savers, I think, a long time ago, and it's just a big oversized men's grey blazer. There was a phase where just like oversized grey blazers were everywhere, like all the fast fashion stores were selling them, and they were so expensive. People were spending like close to $100 on these oversized grey blazers. Meanwhile, you go to the op shop and there's like 100 of these sitting on every rack, and they're so cheap. Um, it does have a small hole somewhere. I wear this constantly constantly for cool like oversized pants and blazers go check out the men's section and jumpers and shirts always look in the men's there's so much you can get this i also thrifted recently from hunter markets a fun little cozy jumper love the color combo on this like the light blue and the yellow beautiful this one i love the fit of this and like the style of it but something about this color just isn't it for me i wonder if i could i don't know if i could die because it's so bright it's just a cotton on jumper that I thrifted, but it's, um, I don't know, it feels like it's a little too, like, garish, this colour. I'll leave this one out for now, but this one's staying. Just realised I'm wearing a jumper that's, like, the exact same colour. But this is, like, a slobbing around the house chill jumper. This feels a bit more posh, but the colour isn't posh. I always forget about these pants. These I did not thrift. It's, like, 1% of this wardrobe that's not thrifted, and this is part of that. I got these from Zara couple of years ago I think after I got my first like paycheck from my current job as like a yay first paycheck in the new job um, and they're like oversized cream cargo pants like very slouchy very low rise very chill I forget about them all the time and then every time I put them on I'm like oh, these are so flattering and cool and just a very comfortable check on weekend pant this side's getting kind of busy another recent hunter markets thrift just your classic cream trench originally supre so it's not like great quality um and it feels like quite thin this is more of an in-between seasons jacket like it's not warm or you've got to put it over a jumper or something but i feel like a cream trench is just like a staple and i have worn it quite a lot so far you can stay this dress i also got from primark when i was last in the uk and it was in the sale for like five pounds or something it was like stupidly cheap it's actually inside out right now <laughs> cute it's a floral maxi dress it's very like silky satiny um with this polka dot background and it also has this gorgeous black lace detailing around the edge and under the bust here and yeah just super like light flowy i've worn this over like a t-shirt to the office a few times i feel like in summer this would be a really cool like throw on to grab drinks kind of piece so you can stay in my dress section this coat is one of my favorite things in my wardrobe again i always get compliments on this when i wear it hunter markets find originally from bardo and it is a vegan leather trench um and it's so soft and like buttery it's all lined so it's actually really warm i've worn this a lot in winter it's just cool 
Like it's just really cool. Any outfit, you put this on over the top and you look cool. I call it my matrix jacket, but it's insane. The quality is great. This dress is so cute. I've actually only worn this once, I think on holiday. It's one of those that you like, it's not really an everyday wear. Um, this is a very much a little cute fairy dress. Thrifted this from, there was a market above a place called Stupid Vintage in Paran, I think, Windsor, that sort of area of Melbourne, Chapel Street. Um, and it is just the most gorgeous sage green midi dress. It has all this beautiful like lace and beading detail all over it. And it has this really cute, like almost drop waist effect with like a pleated bit at the bottom. I don't really know if this color suits me to be honest. I'm very pale right now, but maybe with a tan, who knows? It's just gorgeous. And it was like $10 or something. It was really cheap and I could not leave it behind. It's so beautiful. It just reminds me of like a little pixie fairy sort of vibe. This one still has a tag on. It was $7 from Vinnie's. Something drew me to this. It's fun and it's really flattering and it fits me really well. It reminds me of like someone from the early 2000s Disney Channel era on a red carpet wearing these with a high top converse. You see the vision. And I know that like 2000, well, the 90s has been in, the 2000s, the whole Y2K has been in. And so I kind of was like, maybe this dress will have its moment, but it hasn't yet. I know it's that kind of awkward length on me as well. So maybe that's what's putting me off. I think I'll have to try on and see. It also kind of reminds me of the Hermione Granger your ball dress a little bit. If I can tilt you down. I don't know, is that cute with like a little heel? Again, maybe on holiday. <laughs> I just need to live on a year round holiday. What if it was short? Hear me out. I feel like that could be cuter if I cut, because I think the length is part of what's bothering me. This angle is terrible. Honestly, that could be cool. If I cut it to like that layer here, We'll figure it out, but I think she has potential. It's a keep for now, but you're not going in the wardrobe. You're going into my alterations pile. So you may never make it out alive. You may never see the light of day again. I also have this little skirt, which I've worn to death. I thrifted this to wear for a fashion week event, like a couple of years ago. And it's just a really fun mixture of colors. It's like green, pink, and purple. And it's just like a fun preppy little mini skirt. It has been about a week since I filmed that last clip and it is a very grey, rainy Saturday today. So I thought the perfect opportunity to tackle the drawers. There's obviously some bits on the top as well that we also need to address. Some of these are Chris's, just so that we known. But I thought I would just go one by one through these drawers and get rid of some bits and bobs. Sorry if it's annoying that you can see my reflection in the background. Hello. There's just mirrored wardrobes everywhere in this house. Also my outfit, we're not gonna talk about it. Let us begin with this drawer because there's definitely a lot that we can address in here. It's actually quite impressive that I've managed to fit so much stuff in such a tiny drawer. Let us begin. A lot of this is like good staple stuff um, that are definite keeps. This skirt is one of them, a little black pinstripe mini skirt, a great staple. This skirt I thrifted and it's really cute and like, vintagey but it's quite scraggly because it's like a cut hem and it just looks a bit scrags so I think maybe I'll get rid of that one this is a great denim mini skirt very creased but it has like a big buckle it's very short it's like a bit of a micro mini but that's a great one for summer are you coming to join me hello 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 this skirt I bought at uni so coming up to like 10 years I've owned this skirt, but it's just still so cool and cute. I remember buying it from Topshop and at the time I was a student and had absolutely no business buying anything from Topshop. Um, but I think I had a voucher or something and it felt like this was the most expensive thing I'd ever bought in my life <laughs> at the time. It was like such a treat to buy this. And phew, let me tell you, I've got my wear out of it and it's not going anywhere. It's a great little summer staple. These jeans are so cool, little lace up like low rise flare jeans. They are a little bit big for me, which is really annoying. Maybe I can wash them and like try and shrink them a bit actually. It's a good idea, I'm gonna put them in the wash. Cause they do, cause they're like low rise, they do kind of fall down a bit when I wear them, but they're so cool and I love them. This is a great little midi skirt. A great one for summer, a great one for the office. Very comfortable. I definitely wear that. These are like, a slightly longer jort. I do wish I'd bought these in a size up cause these like, fit really well but I feel like for this style of short 
it's fun when they're a bit oversized and like a bit mid-rise whereas these like fit me well high-waisted um so i might try and find some more of these that are maybe like in the men's section somewhere at the thrift they're a bit bigger but these are a great summer short i like this style of like longer kind of men's looking shorts this skirt has been through many iterations i have upcycled this skirt like several times this is the latest iteration and it's very cool but like when am i gonna next wear this this could be fun for my bridal era actually oh i'm gonna keep this for next year because i'm getting married next year and then maybe an event like a dinner before the wedding or something i could wear this too i don't know i feel like it needs to be kept in my like sewing box or you know because it's not something that i'm gonna wear day to day but that was a fun upcycle and i do really like it so i'm gonna keep that in a separate place this skirt i might hang up because i always forget about it but it's a really cute like barbie pink mini skirt um i thrifted it but it's originally from asos these i love but they have so many holes in them it might just be time for these to be retired they're cool though i do have other black flares but i reckon i could maybe salvage them another good staple like a little white pleated tennis skirt um she's a bit yellow nowadays needs a bit of a bleach but this is a good little staple for summer like goes with everything i actually really like it over under like an oversized tee so like just the little pleated bottom is sticking out this i upcycled from a pair of jeans and i just like this more than it's just a bit basic it doesn't fit great but it's nice to have like a dark denim mini skirt it feels like it's a bit more fancy for some reason than a light light denim keep a great upcycle took me ages this is a top what is this doing in here i forgot i own this oh i could wear this tonight another reason i'm doing this is because i'm going out for drinks tonight and i don't know what to wear so i'm hoping that i'll get inspired but i do have a jean jacket like a cropped jean jacket with a tie so i could wear that over this denim on denim and then i don't know about the bottom half but you're staying there this I also upcycled. This was originally a pair of shorts and I turned it into a little like cargo mini skirt. You can tell if you look too close that it's upcycled, but um, I wear this all the time in summer. Khaki is a staple. No one can tell me any different. These I love, but they are too big. I thrifted these like brown flared jeans, but they, uh, I think I thrifted them for like $2 or something. And I was like, oh, just, give it a go but they are too big and then these i haven't got much wear out of this year but i do really like them they um they fit really nice they're just quite cropped so they feel like more of a summer jean but they're like almost striped crop jeans they really remind me of like 90s lizzie mcguire-esque kind of style okay wow this drawer looks way better already one down onto number two. Oh, i'm gonna sit because my legs are going no try and fix these drawers in the process because they're buckling under the weight we're back on track lads this immediately i know is going to go because i have better red jumper options now it's it was a cute little thrift at the time but i'm just not wearing it i'm not reaching for it because i have better options this jumper i love it's like a really like a bit oversized a bit of a slouchy knit and it has this cool like blue and black stripe in the middle but it's a good in between season nicks it's not too thick but it's like a nice layer so that one we're definitely keeping what else we got this one's really cute sarah thrifted this for me in one of our thrifting bundle videos beautiful little kind of sage green cardigan and it has this really nice lace detailing on the cuffs and down the front very cute again a good little like office kind of knit this drawer is an issue because jumpers take up so much space and i really struggle to fit anything in this little vintage jumper i love it's like cropped and it's like cute aqua kind of color I wear that all the time okay then i have a couple of little sweater vests that i don't wear all the time then i have worn this one quite recently it's pretty cute like a little houndstooth uh almost like a maroony color sort of vest and it's cute like over a shirt so i think i'll keep that and then similarly this guy another kind of crop little sweater vest um and it's just very like 90s kind of vibes it's cute for for work this jumper i I just don't think I'm vibing with it anymore. I'm kind of over it. I've had it for years. I thrifted it originally for like $10. Yeah, I think maybe it's time to say goodbye to that one. And then same with this. This comes in handy um, for like walks, like my hot girl walks in summer, where I just want like a little something, but I don't want like a big jumper on. This is quite cute and handy for that. It's like a little bolero 
type thing. Obviously in winter it's not quite warm enough. So I think I'll keep it and just see what happens. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, I also have this I need to put away. A couple more jumpers, a little Chicago Bears. This is like one of the best. I was so excited when I thrifted that. And then also this little black zip up hoodie that I wear all the time. It's very like rock and roll vibes, but it's really comfy. And this pattern actually glows in the dark, which I didn't realize when I bought it. Cool, I guess. I like a zip up. I think I, I would like more zip up hoodies. Uh, handy. This is definitely a problem drawer. Like, how is this all in here? Quick fire round. Yes, summer. Pulled this out of a bargain bin. Adorable for summer. Adorable. I thrifted this not long ago for summer. I have a lot of summer tops <laughs> and not any winter tops. Oh, this doesn't look like much, but it's like an upcycled, it's very creased, upcycled Ralph Lauren shirt made into like a corset and it's like crossover tie back. And I just think it's so cool. Chris hates this, but we love a little football baby tee moment and a pop of red. Keep, Ugh, are you kidding me? Victoria's Secret Angel, keep. A cute little white floral halter. This doesn't look like anything, but it's a halter that like buttons up at the back. Beautiful, keep. Another white summer piece. I got this from Hunter Markets recently for the purpose of my holiday this year. You see the vis? Keep. Will she throw anything out from this drawer? Only time will tell, I guess. This is a cute little green fairy top. I like the little puff sleeves. I like the frill. Gorgeous. The shearing bodice. Some more great basics. A little grey tank. That is like the inside situation. A great staple. Keep. Another grey crop. I love the fit of these. These are great for the gym. I have them in different colours. I have a grey, a black and a green. I love this top. This is a really nice fit of like a, almost like a baby tee but a bit longer. A nice little fitted tee that says Norway. A red backless top, which is cute for going out. It's like a nice high neck and then, can't really see it, but it's backless and it ties around the back. White baby tee. I think you know where this is going. This I thrifted recently from Hunter Market. It's a really cute, like colourful bodysuit and it's like mesh, ruched. Great little jeans and a nice top thing. This is really cool. I actually thrifted this when we went to see the Rocky Horror Show to like dress up on brand and it's like a leather corset, but I think it's just really cool. And I feel like I'll get my wear out of that again. Denim waistcoat, again, classic 90s vibes, very cool. This little baby tee I love. I think this is genuinely a child's t-shirt because there's a thing where you can write like a name and a phone number in it <laughs> in case anyone loses me. But it fits like a bit of a baby tee and it just has these cute like hearts and gemstones and writing on it. Very cool. This I don't really wear anymore. I got this from Hunter Markets ages ago out of a bargain bucket and it's just like a baggy kind of throw on crop, but. I'll put it in the don't know pile. Black bodysuit, obviously wear that all the time. This is a cute little black halter top. I feel like the lights just absolutely disappeared. That disappeared in here. Little black halter fitted going out top, also handy. This I will get rid of. I really don't like this gray long sleeved crop. I just don't like the way it fits. Not a fan of the color. Get out of here. Is that the first chuck? No. Yes, we've got one gone. This top I'm gonna to get rid of because the V on it is so low cut. You just can't wear it because it's, you can see everything. This I will never throw away. I've had this top for years. Enough said. It's also just very soft and comfortable. It's like the softest t-shirt you'll ever feel. What else we got? Also enough said. These two are very similar. That's a bodysuit. And then this is a like ribbed racer top. I mean, sometimes a bodysuit is handy, but also I kind of hate it. Do I prefer this? Yeah, I think I prefer the ribbed. I think I'm going to get rid of the bodysuit because it really does give me a wedgie when I wear it, which is not great. This top I like, have gone to throw out so many times, but then sometimes I'm like, no, it's cute. It's a little pink, like almost woolen crop top, but it has an open back and a tie. When things are like cropped and woolen, I'm like, I don't understand. I keep coming back to it. I've been layering it recently under dresses and stuff, and it is kind of cute. Oh, why am I like this, hey? This can go, I never wear it. It's just a white tee, but I have that baby tee that I wear a lot more. And this is like yellowing and creases so much, whereas that one doesn't, so see ya. Little sweater vest to add to the sweater vest collection, just a gray little button up. This one's a bit 
more baggy and loose. Maybe I'll put that in with the others. Oh, I think I might retire this Tala crop. It's really thick, which is great quality wise, but um, if I'm wearing a baby tee, like I don't want to be hot, you know what I mean? And it's really hard to get over my head. I've had it for a long time. I think it's like one of the original Tala pieces, but I think it's time to say goodbye to that. This t-shirt is very comfortable. I've worn this so much. It's a big oversized gray kind of distressed t-shirt, but that's a great little comfy piece. This is a cute little waffle. <laughs> it's inside out, but waffle green long sleeve top with like buttons down the front. It's just very like cozy winter kind of vibes. This I love for summer. This is like a gorgeous little aqua mesh top. It's long sleeves, like flared sleeves, and it does up with all these little ties down the front. It's very cute. I've worn this loads in summer and to like wineries and stuff. This I actually kind of hate. I love the look of it and the fit of it, just like a green t-shirt, but something about the fabric is just not flattering. Like you can see every little line and stitch of my bra underneath. It just shows off everything in the worst way. So that's gone. This I bought from Goodbyes a little while ago and I just think it's so cute. It's like a little tank. I think it's like a girl in the middle and this is like all her hair. And the back has got these like denim patches. It's just kind of random and vintagey, but I don't know. I just think she's cool. Oh, my legs are numb. <sighs> oh, it's a feminine numb and numb. It fits and it closes. <laughs> it's a miracle. Okay, so that's all my like fun fashion-y stuff. The other side is like gym stuff, underwear, socks, pajamas, and all that. So I'm gonna do that now off camera because that's really not interesting to watch. And then I'm gonna show you the finished result and what it all looks like together. Oh, I'm so excited. This feels good. I feel good about myself right now. Okay, we are officially done and it feels good. I have been really like dragging this process out and putting it off for a while, but it's finished. So quickly just remind you on the screen of where we started before I show you the final reveal. Here's what we're working with now. So here's my first wardrobe. We've got like jackets, jumpers, shirts, and then all my trousers and skirts all down the end. And underneath is this gorgeously organized shoe rack. Don't mind my knees clicking with all of my little shoesies on it. That's annoying, but would you look at that? Incredible stuff. And then on the other side, all of my dresses here on the left, all the way down to the ground. And then on the right, we have all my long jackets and then a few other jackets as well. I need to, I think, move a couple of these. I need to organize the jackets somehow because there's some short ones on the left and long ones on the right, but then I have loads more room over here than in the left bit. So I've added a few of my chunkier ones. So chunky jackets, shall we say. And then right down the bottom are some booties. I'll just show you this side because that's all the underwear and stuff, but. I've got like three piles of tops all nicely folded and actually fit in and this can close successfully. This one's a little bit tougher, but all my jumpers, they are in piles, but this looks a bit chaotic, but I promise you it's a lot more organized. It's still a bit of a tight squeeze, but less so than before. And then the final again, three lovely neat piles. Ah, oh, that's a good feeling. And that is the end of this video. I need to go and edit this now, which is gonna take me so long. Um, if you made it all the way to the end, I very much appreciate it. If you're not already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more fashion content, live content, vloggy content, thrifty content, all that stuff. Please also make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel. I would really appreciate it. Love you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>